Hi, this is Vanessa Joy with Adorama TV and it is really crappy and I'm going to show you how to make it look like a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> So your couple's nightmare is happening. It is raining on their wedding day. Not to worry, you are a photographer and you can develop from the negatives. Here's a couple things that you need. Number one, you need some kind of overhang or a very daring couple who doesn't mind getting a little bit wet. You're probably gonna get wet here, but you want your couple to stay nice and dry, especially if it's before the ceremony. Position your couple so that they're as close to the edge of that overhang, but not getting wet. This is gonna block the light from coming up above, so you're not gonna get icky light coming from straight above them, and it'll let just the light come from the side. So you really can control how you want the light to fall on them, given the scenario. You can use any off-camera flash, but I'm using the Profoto B10. I've got a CTO gel attached to the front of it. Uh, keep going, Jay. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna create the sun, so that's my light that is back there. A little bit more. Yep, point it at the bride and groom and tilt it up a little bit. This part's really important. If you just have some random light coming from behind them, it might look cool, but it's not believable that it's actually the sun. The further back you can go, the better. I also have my assistant holding a reflector just to soften the light that's on their faces. I mean, I could shoot this just as is without any light and it looks okay. It's a super cute photo, but to me, there were a couple parts that weren't believable. And to do this, you need to make it believable. All of this white, the light here, that's just kind of hanging out back there. I can tell it's not really the sun. It's not far enough back. It's not creating a believable look. So we went to a different location that really made a difference. I still have them under an overhang, but it's as close as I can possibly get to an opening where the light is just flooding in on them. We threw the light farther back, but it's behind them. So it's just creating a little bit of a rim light. It looks pretty, it's okay, but it's not looking like a sunny day, not yet. Then we move things over a little bit and you can see by her face, she was goofing off, but it needed to move over even more because right now it doesn't look like the sun, it looks like a light coming out of the barn. This light right here, it looks believable. It looks like the sun could be right back there. I changed my lens to the 130 and it gave me exactly what I was looking for. With the 135, I'm able to get in nice and close, but on top of it, it changes the flare. And I can shoot at a nice low aperture that I was shooting here to make this a little bit more believable. These last shots are the ones I like the best, but it's about playing, it's about maneuvering and seeing where the light is and making adjustments. Guys, you're not gonna do this and it's gonna be perfect the first time. This photo, it's almost there. You can kind of see it. It created a little bit too much haze for me, but then the next photo, bam. This is what I was looking for. I love the nice soft look. It's a little bit of haze, a little bit of flare, and just pretty. Their expressions are great. And yes, I know the dress clips are there. Guys, this is straight out of camera. No editing is done here, so you're seeing this exactly how it can be done in camera. I love where the sun is right there. It's believable. It's not too much in the picture, too out of it. I mean, this whole picture has like a beautiful haze over to it. Looks really, really lovely. I have to admit, the only thing I do not like about this photo is I was so excited that the light was working well that it didn't bother to adjust her hand right there. Try not to show the back of the hand like that. I could have just had her hold on to the lapel and loosen her hand a little bit. It would have looked much better. And it looks like a sunny day even though it was actually sleeting outside. That is how you can guarantee any bride a sunny day on her wedding. Oh, f it's cold. Looking for more inspiration? Click the link in the description below to download my free posing guide. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified when new videos pop up here on Adorama TV. Leave some comments, ask your questions. There are no dumb questions and there's no such thing as mean comments. There is such thing as mean comments. I collect the mean comments so I have an excuse to eat ice cream. But seriously, don't be a